Welcome back, YouTubes. We are playing White Knight, and let's get back to it. Need to check something real quick. Yeah, we're good. Missing around here. No, I've already read that. Seen all this. What? Um. Help me. Who was it? What was it? In my world, women didn't glow like the moon. And they didn't walk through doors either. I had to be more badly wounded than I thought. Still locked. I run with the match? I can kind of run with the match. Oh. I didn't do that, but thank you. I've already tried that. See what else we can do. Yeah, here we go. Whoop. Something over here. So far the lights have been around the doors. Let's see what this says. The rug is very disco, yes. Okay, I did not mean to do that. I was aiming for this right here. <clears throat> Note to self. Mother's shadow will never go away. I understand it now. Calling them ghosts would still be too noble. It is a filth that strives in the dark yeah, strives in the darkness like flies of manure. As long as I'm alive, they will never go away. And this is good old Boston, the home of the bean and the cod, where the Lowells talk only to Cabots, and the Cabots talk only to God. Hmm. It's not bad. The Boston Toast by John Collins Busty Boston Brahms Anthem. Um. Hi. Eh, give me a hug. Hug me! Hug me! Hug me! Hug me! <laughs> so, uh... Mental note, avoid ghosts. Help me. Who was it? Or, what was it? In my world, women didn't glow like the moon. 
and they didn't walk through doors either. I had to be more badly wounded than I thought. that part. Got that part. We see a ghost. I like how we swatted the ghost out like a fly. Just like, eh. Oh shit. Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Hey, Doom Lad. Yeah, that was a bad hug. Who was it? Or what was it? In my world, women didn't glow like the moon. And they didn't walk through doors either. I had to be more badly wounded than I thought. Ooh. Oh, there's a few pictures to go through. Let's see what's in here. Hey, it's Alfred. Actually, it's a pretty nice picture. There should be a way to turn these light on. Ah. Excerpt 12. All of the bars I visited, the smoke and mirrors, hey, I've been there, appear to have been especially tailored for me. People there are quiet, melancholy even. They stagnate in the swirling smoke of their cigarettes like convicts, desperate victims that were pushed to the darkness by, cri by the crisis. There shouldn't be a period there, there should be a comma. But even if the bar is an elegant place, they are not driven away. They respect their right to oblivion. It is a place where they can disappear. I found myself at a corner from which I can watch their comings and goings until I'm carried away to the abyss by my own whiskey every time I am caught again by the band. Such good musicians. Their music is like a tear that time stretches. Slow jazz, steady and reserved. It is the music of their time, the music of those who fell on the wayside. Someone told me about a singer who just got hired. Well... I don't think their band needs that, but we will see. Let's walk around this side. Why would you cut a woman with a knife and paint it? Unless you're one of the artists from the Doorways game. Hey, it's another door. Lol, whatever. Hey, there's what I was looking for. Let's 
see what we can find around here. It's a lot of quiet. Note to self. Armchairs. I'm so tired. Father ordered several leather club chairs from a Quincy craftsman. They are perfect. It is one of the few places where I can rest and think. Margaret wouldn't touch them, and I have no idea why. Maybe because they are marked with a sun which made her blind. I don't know. I'm just happy they're here. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Hmm. There's the sun. It's an esoteric symbol. It's a Venus, by the way. Box is closed. Needs a key. Not much else to this. Might be time to rest. Ah, oh, yeah. It's a nice fucking leather chair. They don't call chairs chairs in French. You know that? They, they call it Les Chairs Royale. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why are you listening to me? Small music box. Hmm. Oh, that's a thing. Another apparition, but one that smells like death. You couldn't move close to it. As an old lady, a corrupt soul, death itself. And I had to stay away from it. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's a globe covered with scribbles. Awesome. It's a lot of mud. Or blood. Gramophone. Hello. Um. I decided to accept her presence. After all, from all those weird things I had seen that night, she was the only one who hadn't tried to kill me. Speaking of which, this thing looked like it was reaching out from some fairy tale. The kind of stories in which kids get devoured by some witch in a dark forest. Was it real? Delusion or not, I tried not to think about it. Only a madman can think mad things. Only a madman can think mad things. I resemble that remark. Mr. Vesper. Why would the match be a nuisance? Wait, why would the match be a nuisance? The wooden cover was very heavy. I need another light source. Oh, okay. Hmm. 20 years late, huh? What's this over here? Note to self. Kitchen king. King. Key. Is it time for a break already? Ah. <sighs> Actually, how long have I been recording? Nah, keep rolling. Dear friend, 
for the lack of sleep erodes your sanity as well as your memory. I hereby decide to put the kitchen key in this book of recipes Father loved so much. It is in the library and won't move from there, which will prevent you from having to make extra keys again. Please start by trying not to lose this note. Your devoted self, or your devoted servant, yourself, William. Good start if I want to start a fire. Anything else around? No. I don't see any more wood. I think I've already looked at this. Whoa! Also, that's a really creepy painting of a kid. Okay, well. I need more wood to get the fire really roaring. Off I go. Okay, there we go. We'll just put this in. Oh, and I'm unable to connect. Which means my internet's netted out. Give me just a second. Yeah. Fine, be blocked from the other side. We'll just take these matches. for the fireplace I was looking forward to that light. But for how long? Okay, I need both my hands for this. And I have to do it by pressing A repeatedly. Alright. Yay, QTE. some Selena smoke and mirrors record it's a memoir from Selena Williams excerpt number two in September 1934 during a concert at the right red bait we meet Jim Ed Erz Jim Smith a producer whose label, Two Roads, is becoming prominent. After the show, he tells me I have a marvelous voice and that my Norwegian accent brings something unique to our African-American jazz music. That it is enough to get the attention of amateurs and curious listeners. I have to admit Norwegian jazz singers are not that many, but I can't really believe he would hire us. But he does. He suggests we name the band Selena and the Frozen Sons. I'm paid for singing. Everyone, everything looks so simple. Dad used to say that anything could, anything can grow in California. I feel like a flower finding its way through the snow, but my parents are not happy for me. I think they are homesick. But I'm 22. Life is an adventure and I don't know much about life. I know nothing about pain, for example. Everything changes. Oh, what's this thing right here? Crucifix, lipstick, astronomy books. No, oh, we're gonna listen to this shit. Oh yeah. I think that is pretty much it. What is this bottle up there?
Let's get the music rolling. Let's see what Selena looks like. Or uh, sounds like. Both, really. jazz record. Selena Sandvik. The key she left me was an invitation. Was she trying to help me? Or was I heading towards even more troubles? A little from column A, a little from column A. I had to focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. Library, maybe? Selena Sandwich. Mmm. Everyone wants a Selena Sandwich. For too many of us, the political equality we once had won was meaningless in the face of the economic inequality. A small group had concentrated in their own hands and almost complete control over the other pro people's property and other people's money other people's labor, other people's lives. But for too many of us, but too many, uh, for too many of us, life was no longer free, liberty no longer real, men could no longer follow the pursuit of happiness. Against economic tyranny such as this, the American citizens could appeal only to the organized power of the government. The collapse of 1929 showed up, uh, showed Ah, showed up the despotism for what it was. The election of 1932 was the people's mandate to end it. Under that mandate, it is being ended. Franklin D. Roosevelt. I really like the aesthetics of this game. Let's save for a second, and then we'll see what's in the library. See here, what's supposed to do is the darkness. Don't mention which door it's supposed to open. Mm, I think this might be the end of this uh, this chapter. Let's get a match rolling. Hope this works. Okay, we're looking for a recipe book. Let's get on in there. Not to self. Shadows avoid the electric lights. Tonight, one of Mother's shadows caught me as I was walking inside the library. That same day, I had fit. I had someone fix the electrical wiring, which had been out of service for years. In panic, 
I switched on the lights. The shadow vanished in the screen. Electric lights can kill them. Good to know. Whoa. Oh, hey, what's this? Someone likes the moon, hair, and a knife. Why would you photograph that? Note to self, she's suing me? Her voice is harassing me, blaming me and insulting me because I was not the heir she wanted so much. Margaret is even more harmful in death, and because I am her son, she's always possessed the key to my mind. I'm desperate. How am I supposed to keep a dead person at bay? Huh. It's worth noting. Whoa. Geometric symbols? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's Margaret's diary. How handy. Uh, another long one. December 12th, 1895. I want him to stop. God. Is he still my father? I wish things would be like they were before. Going to the fair, to the races. When he told me the names of the horses, he knew so well. When he let me bet and then laughed at me because I lost. I wanted him to tell me more about our family. About Kenneth Cross's bravery. When he fought the English soldiers during the tea party. About Uncle Hardy, the captain of the Union warship fighting slavery. About Senator and poet Douglas Venter. About Tom, sorry, Tom Kinston, member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. All great men, knights, intellectual, glorious members of the Venter Cross family. But what will people say about Dad? This isn't a recipe book. Oh, it's a plug. Let's plug it in. Just moving on. <sighs> Real issues with women. Is that a woman's skull? Note to self, the shadows move. Yeah, it does look like symbols of alchemy, doesn't it? Uh, note to self, the shadows move. Mother, or should I say what's left of her, seems to evolve over time. First she was very static, as if trapped in her own nightmare. Now she is moving around the house, as she used to when she was blind, shortly before she died. Margaret is waiting behind the doors, where she is standing in obscene and twisted postures, inherited from her insane mind. I cannot move without feeling her claws. Hmm. March 10th, 1935. The bone fragments and the weapon found by Smith at the Mexican dig site of Teotihuacan are here at last. 
He was true to his word, but I still paid good money for it. The Mesoamerica pyramids of this site are among the biggest of the regions, although they were built two centuries before Christ. The human remains, which were found under the pyramid of the moon, confirm my theories. These victims were probably sacrifices. Rivera tells me he found at, la at least four of them with their arms tied behind their backs. They were sacrificed to the great goddess of Teotihuacan, the, the great, a great honor. The knife is very well preserved. Since I sharpened it, it seems ready to serve the goddess again. I must study the rites of the killing ceremony. I'll ask the bodies to be shipped to me. All right. I'm just here looking for a recipe book. Ah, oh, shit, not you again. My leg was hurting. It's best not to finish it. Yeah, I agree. I see some twinkle over here. Might have been my imagination. This is a long ass cable. Oh, I've already plugged it in. Yeah. That lamp is what I was trying to turn on, I just... Eh. There we go. Much better. Hmm. That's Irina. That's Virginia. Well, I need to take a quick restroom break, and I think we need to make a cut, so I encourage everybody else to get a drink, go to the restroom, and um, we'll be right back. <laughs> 